Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss how to argue in the courtroom. Regarding the courtroom argument, most of the lawyers all across the world fundamentally have the same perception, that is, it is a heated argument, debate, the furious position attack, and a strong defense, etc. To and some extent, this is also true. And the another truth of this fact is, unless you bring aggression in your argument, you won't be in a position to make the honorable judge feel the truth of your clients. Remember, in my previous videos, I have discussed that emotion in your argument is an essential criterion that can make you win. Emotion not necessarily means heated and aggression, but it may be like that but not essentially. So, your argument may be very generous, cool, hurt, touching. Well, I mean the way you can feel the emotion and sentiment to upbring the truth, just do it. However, along with emotion, there are certain things that anyway you have to take care. If you ignore them, then that may be tantamount to contempt of court. So in this video, I will be discussing some manners that you need to take care while arguing your case in the courtroom. First, be humble and polite. Is the case going into your favor or not? At any cost, remain humble and polite. Internally, you may remain annoyed, aggressive and all. As being a normal human being, no one can be very calm and relaxed, especially in courtroom when the condition is adverse. But remember that your anger and aggression shouldn't be appear on your face nor in your behavior. Next, remain infused with manners and etiquettes. Be courteous with the honorable judge and other jury members and also with your opponent counsel as well. Address the honorable judge as my lord. May it please your lordship much obliged to your lordship or grateful to your lordship etc etc and also give respect to your opponent as my learned friend etc next retell yourself and not the court most of the cases trialed for the long times months years in such a case honorable judge might forget the facts so, reiterate the facts in such a manner that honorable judge doesn't take it an offense. For example, don't say like to remind your lordship. Instead, say just to recapitulate for my own benefit. Secondly, I mean do not say anything directly. That sounds like allegation. Better to say other way around. That is, instead of saying that you couldn't understand, better to say, I am sorry, my apology, I couldn't make myself clear, it's my fault. May I rephrase it? Likewise, take permission in such a case. Next, be clear with your facts and laws. What you are going to speak, be clear, no confusion at all. Only then you can present your point boldly and orderly. Next, Punctuate your sentence, take a pause. Don't be in haste. Rather, punctuate your sentence properly instead of speaking continuously. Keep taking pause to make sentence clear and understandable. Last but not the least, command on your language, short but frisky. Your language has to be short and frisky. Remember Polonius in Shakespeare's Hamlet, Suggesting that witty people know how to make a point without unnecessary words. I mean, don'ts are more important than do's. So keep your argument short, lively, and striking, and make your presentation remarkable. 